Welcome friends, welcome back to Sunday Morning in the Old Cookbook Show. Today we're going to do a recipe out of the mixing bowl. Published in 1930 by the Ladies' Aid, the Welland County General Hospital uh, from Welland, Ontario. And if you don't know where Welland is, it's in southern Ontario, the Niagara Peninsula. And it's, uh, it's a fairly important city or town um, for shipping on the Great Lakes because the Welland Canal runs through Welland. And it's the only way that ships can get past Niagara Falls. So today we're going to do a recipe called banana cake. And I think this is interesting because in 1930 um, you were just starting to see bananas used in cakes. Um, up until the late 1920s, like 1927 and on, if you saw a banana cake, it was generally a vanilla or chocolate cake. Uh, that had bananas sliced and then put between the layers or just sliced and put on top. They weren't actually put into the batter. So this is a, this is a shift in the way people were using bananas to bake with. And it's not until two or three years after this that you start to see banana bread recipes show up or banana loaf recipes show up. So I've got one and a half bananas in here and I'm going to start mashing it and then I'm going to add in white sugar and brown sugar and cream it all together. Okay, and that half banana isn't going to go to waste. Uh, we're going to use it in the icing. So now I have shortening. And in this time period, the recipe just says shortening, but it could have been pork lard, it could have been vegetable shortening, or it could have been beef. But knowing this region, I'm going to say it was probably pork lard. Now the order that it tells me to add things um, kind of goes against everything I think I know about making cakes. I would have put the lard in and creamed it together with the two sugars, then added an egg, and then added the banana. Um, for some reason it wanted me to start with the banana. And I'm a little bit worried that it's not mixing together correctly, but we'll see in the end. So, in goes one egg, and we're going to mix that in. Okay, so here I have flour, and to that I'm going to add baking soda and baking powder. And just give that a bit of a stir. And we also need three tablespoons of milk. So, let's see. Three tablespoons. There we go. So at this point, I'm going to switch to a rubber spatula and I'm going to mix in a little bit of the flour and then a little bit of the milk and then a little bit of the flour. Now, just like most of the cookbooks that we have from this time period, there's no instructions about baking. There's nothing about the size of pan to use. There's nothing about the temperature. Um, I have both a 9x9 nine nine and an 8x8. Eight eight. I kind of guess that the 8x8 eight eight is the one that I need to use. Um, I'm on the fence, but I'm going to give the 8x8 eight eight a go. I'll put a parchment paper sling in it, just so it's easy to get the cake out. And now we'll put the batter in, we'll get it in the oven, and once the cake is cooled, we'll move on to making the frosting. Okay, so the cake is cooled. Let's make the frosting. So this, uh, this frosting is a new one for me. It's one egg white, and you beat it until it's stiff and dry. And then you add icing sugar, enough to make the frosting or the icing. Then you add the half of a mashed banana left over from the first part and a little bit of vanilla. Um, and I've never made this exact style. So I'm kind of interested to find out what it's like, what the texture is like, and, and what the flavor is like. And it is a raw egg white. There's no cooking. So there are lots of egg white uh, frostings or icings that would require cooking. Uh, this is not one of them. So if you're afraid of raw egg whites, uh, I would avoid this. So it doesn't say how much powdered sugar, just enough. So I'm going to put it in maybe two tablespoons at a time and see where that gets us. Okay. 
Okay, so I don't know if I've got enough sugar in there, but it is pretty stiff at this point. So I'm going to add the banana and then maybe add a little bit more sugar later if I need it. I'll probably put the vanilla in right now as well. And again, it doesn't say how much vanilla. Um, I'm just going to free pour because I like to free pour vanilla. There we go. And I'll just keep mixing. And if you've been hanging around here for a while, you'll know I'm not the kind of person that likes icing cakes. And if you're the kind of person that feels you need to cut off the crown on the cake, go right ahead. Uh, I'm not that person. I kind of like it domed in the middle. Cake! Hey, Jules. Cake! So... This is a banana cake. Hey, friends. Oh, yeah, we had a few extra, a few brown ones. Yes. Ooh. And so this is from the dawn of banana cake. The dawn the of banana cake. The dawn of banana cake. Yeah, um, I mentioned bum, earlier. Bum, 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 bum. I don't know why that came to <laughs> the theme music, but you know. I, as I mentioned earlier, um, up until this point, banana cakes pretty much were just a vanilla or chocolate cake with sliced bananas between the layers or on top. Okay. This is one so of the banana actually in This it. is one of the first recipes with banana actually. Do in they it. actually In some recipes you can identify this person said, "Wash up the banana and put it no." I haven't found that yet. And then so this goes this is 1930 the first banana bread recipe people seem to point to a 1933 recipe book. But when you look at a recipe cake versus bread, cake is just half made. loaf versus loaf. Yeah. I like that the the Icing is kind of a crunchy. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Do you have bananas in the icing? Mm hmm. Oh, I love that. I'm just going to eat some icing. So, bananas in the icing, um, they were thrifty with the bananas because I imagine in 1930 bananas were. Yeah, they weren't the ubiquitous fruit that they, they are today. Yeah, they weren't. They were a lot like bananas came from Central America to North America in the 1870s. I mean, is so that by, was pre Cavendish banana too? Yes, I believe it was pre, okay. pre Cavendish, and even in the 1930s, because of the lack of refrigeration during transport, they would still arrive not always great. Um, but this, I would, I would have so this says one and a half bananas. I'd probably, probably more, I'd probably put in two bananas at least. Um, so you're gonna amend the recipe that suggests, no, I'm just gonna tell you. I would put in two bananas. I think I think it could stand two bananas, definitely. But the icing is great. I was a little worried about the icing, but the icing tastes really nice. Why so? Because um, it's one egg white with icing sugar and a banana. Well, that would explain why it's got that kind of that pseudo that that kind of crusty. Glassy, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But I love it when there's banana mm -hmm. in the icing. I'm just looking at the icing. <laughs> Oops. And I also love that all the ads have you, a phone number. Yeah, if you need to get a hold of General Hardware, call 65. Two digits in the phone number. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> that's how many people had phones, I, know. I guess, in that neighborhood. I know. <laughs> Two digits in the phone number. That's absolutely crazy. So, um, this is a winner. Uh, I, I do like this. It's a very simple cake. Thanks for stopping by. See you again soon.